What is going on everyone? We are back with another potential test in MLB 16. The show today we take a player, put him through five seasons in franchise to see if he will live up to his potential. And today our test subject is Nick Castellanos, third baseman for the Detroit Tigers. He has played two years in the major leagues. He's a B potential, 80 overall. Not one of the big names you really think of when you think of third baseman, but he's got some not bad attributes. He can also play the outfield. He has done okay in his first two years, getting up to 15 home runs and 73 RBIs, but a career 257 hitter. So not crazy numbers for the first two years, but not horrible. So we'll see how he does. He's going to start out happy, so he's actually a true 78 Picking up the extra two from the morale boost. So we'll see how he does here as we're going to get into this first season. Let's see a big first jump here in the first year from Castellanos. And it's going to be not a big jump. Plus one for both contacts. No change to power versus righties. Minus five for lefties. Plus two to vision. Three to discipline. Two to clutch. Going to go two up for bunt. Three to drag bunt. Two to durability. Two to fielding. Two to arm strength. Three to arm accuracy. And two to reaction. Plays 149 games. 64 runs scored. 157 hits. 16 home runs. 65 RBIs. And a 270 average. So a very, very nice third season in the majors for Castellanos. He is going to be satisfied. So he lost out on the uh, morale boost, but that means his base only went up one. So season number two, let's see it go up a little bit more here, and it will up to an 84. So plus four for contact versus righties, minus one for lefties, plus one to power versus righties, plus eight for power versus lefties. No change to his vision. Three to discipline, three to clutch, three to bunt, two to drag bunt, three to durability, three to fielding and arm strength, two to arm accuracy, and two to reaction. It also actually picks up plus one to speed. The rare occasion we see speed go up. Plays 150 games, 70 runs scored, 157 hits again this year, 18 home runs, 84 RBIs, and a 268 average. So another very, very solid season for Castellanos. The home runs continuing to grow. Hopefully we can see those go up over 20 with the RBIs approaching 100. Very, very good. And he is going to be happy. So he actually goes up three in his base overall, up to 82, and then picking up the extra two with the morale boost. So a very, very good season for Castellanos. Let's see if he can continue that here as this midway point. Season number three is going to be no. Looks like no change in overall. Potential's down. Plus one to contact versus righties. Minus two to lefties. Minus three for power versus righties. Minus two for lefties. No change to vision again. Plus five to discipline. Three to clutch. Two to bunt. No change in durability. That's 99. Two to fielding. One to arm strength. Two to arm accuracy. And two to reaction. So some good improvements there. 157 games played. 63 runs. 150 hits. 15 home runs. 79 RBIs. And a 248 average. So the uh, average takes a dip. The home runs take a dip. The RBIs are still up there. So still a solid season for him. And he is going to remain happy. His base did not grow at all. That is not what we wanted to see. Still just 26 years old. I hope he's not capped out here. But he is a B potential. So... Mid-80s maybe is that sweet spot, but let's see here. We got two more seasons. Let's see if he can grow anymore. Season number four, it's going to be still an 84. So plus three to contact versus righties, plus five for lefties, plus one to power versus righties, minus two to power versus lefties, plus three to vision, two to discipline, three to clutch, two to bunt, minus one to his durability, and then plus two to all of his fielding stats. So... Uh, another, some good improvements there, uh, a couple minor minuses, 145 games played, 78 runs scored, 161 hits, 11 home runs, 54 RBIs, and a 284 average, so the average goes back up, the home runs, the power, the RBIs going down, trending down, as potential trending down as well. He is no longer happy, so he did actually go up two in his base overall, up to an 84, which is good to see the base going up. Didn't want it to start regressing as we finish it out here. Season number five, what's going to end at? 86, so he goes up, and his potential has gone up as well. Wow. Minus one to contact versus righties, plus one to lefties. Six up for power versus righties, minus four for lefties, plus four to vision, five to clutch, or excuse me, five to discipline, two to clutch, two to bunt, three to drag bunt, one to durability, two to fielding, arm strength, Three to arm accuracy and two to reaction. So some nice improvements there. A couple minuses that wouldn't like to see, especially to power. But he plays 152 games, 71 runs scored, 149 hits, 22 home runs, 77 RBIs, and a 259 average. So a nice finishing season from Castellanos. And he is just satisfied as well. So he went up two more in his base overall. So he will finish it out as a 86 overall only 28 years old still, and looking at the numbers, he's got very, very good contact. The power, not as high as you would like it to be. The vision's okay. The clutch is really, really good, though. 93 clutch, 99 durability. He did not get hurt at all 
in the five seasons that we went through this. He is going to end up with 108 home runs, just one season over 20. The RBI is very nice, just under 500. Doesn't steal any bases, but a career 263 hitter is very, very good. So Nick Castellanos, I got to say, a definite uh, option for you at third base. If you're playing as the Tigers, you know you already have him slotted in there at third base, and the Tigers don't really have much else in their farm system. But if you're playing as a team other than the Tigers, Castellanos might be a cheaper option for you than some of the other third basemen that are out there for you to bring in, and he can be, I think, a very, very solid option. Not somebody that's going to blow the cover off of the ball or really go way up above, maybe not even make all-star games, but I think he could be a very, very solid piece for you at that corner infield spot. So Nick Castellanos, I got to say a thumbs up there, and he is done with this potential test, and we are done with this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it, and subscribe to see any feature videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.